Last year, just did a handful. It was the first time, I think we were one of the first bands to come back. And there was definitely a vibe in the audience, a sort of feeling of celebration, I think. Johnny Marr is an English musician, songwriter, and singer. First achieved fame as the guitarist and co-songwriter of The Smiths, who were active from 1982 to 1987. He's since performed with numerous other bands and embarked on a solo career. Marr was voted the fourth best guitarist of the last 30 years on a poll conducted by the BBC in 2010. Phil Alexander, editor-in-chief of Mojo, described him as arguably Britain's last great guitar stylist. In 2013, NME honored Marr with its Godlike Genius Award. Not content with rewriting the history of music with one of the world's greatest ever bands, The Smiths, he's continued to push boundaries and evolve throughout his career, working with some of the best and most exciting artists on the planet. And it's what it's what it's what it's about for me, really. Everyone getting together, and you know, I get to as a job, I get to plug into an electric guitar and play very at very high volume. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is John Martin Mayer, but is also known as Johnny Marr. He was born October 31st, 1963 in Manchester, England, making him 58 at the time of this production. He stands at 1.73 meters or 5 feet 8 inches tall. His favorite sport is football, and Marr had aspirations to be a professional football player. He was approached by Nottingham Forest and had trials with Manchester City's youth team. He supports the Manchester City Football Club. His favorite album is Raw Power by Iggy and the Stooges. His trademark sound was created on a black 1983 Rickenbacker 330 guitar. He's an honorary board member of Rock for Kids and received an honorary doctorate from the University of Salford for outstanding achievements and changing the face of British guitar music. He's a teetotaler, vegan, and runs regularly. Marr is a patron of the Manchester Modernist Society. Around the age of 14, he began spelling his name M-A-R-R -R to simplify the pronunciation for those who had difficulty with his birth name, M-A-H-E-R and to avoid confusion with Buzzcocks drummer John Marr. Marr's jangly guitar playing was influenced by Neil Young's work with Crazy Horse, George Harrison with The Beatles, and James Honeyman Scott of The Pretenders. Citing producer Phil Spector as an influence, Marr said, I like the idea of records, even those with plenty of space, that sound is symphonic. I like the idea of all the players merging into one atmosphere. When forming the Smiths, the Velvet Underground was a key influence along with Keith Richards of the Rolling Stones. Marr has used Fender amplifiers almost exclusively throughout his career. During his time with the Smiths, he used a twin reverb, a deluxe reverb, and a bass man amongst others. He also used a Fender Champ with the The and the Cribs. When playing with the Cribs, he used a super reverb. Marr's love of the Fender sound continues to this day with his deluxe reverb. In 2007, Marr was appointed as a visiting professor in music at the University of Salford, where he delivered an inaugural lecture on November 4, 2008, and a series of workshops and masterclasses to students on the BA Popular Music and Recording Program. On July 19, 2012, he received an honorary doctorate from the University of Salford for outstanding achievements and changing the face of British guitar music. On January 19, 2021, Marr received the Boss Lifetime Achievement Award as part of the NAMM Music Industry Trade Show. On November 3, 2018, Marr unveiled a plaque in his parents' hometown of Athy in County Kildare, Ireland. This was part of the Made of Athy project. Marr is the subject of Johnny Marr is Dead by the Brian Jonestown Massacre. However, he's not mentioned in the lyrics. He's also the subject of Clear's 2003 single, satirizing the music industry, Johnny Marr was a mistake. Marr and his wife Angie have been together since 1979, before the Smiths formed. They have two children, Sonny and Niall Marr. Niall is also a musician and was the front man of the band Man Made before going solo. Sounds with Eddie. There's, you know, I played with so many different people, but uh, 
Yeah, I think uh, Chrissy Hind was, is, was particularly good. I was very, I was, you know, younger then. He's the son of John Joseph Maher and Francis Patricia Doyle, Irish immigrants to England from County Kildare. The family lived in Ardwick Green and moved to Withenshaw in 1972. Maher attended St. Aloysius Primary School in Ardwick before moving to Sacred Heart Primary School. From 1975, he attended St. Augustine's Catholic Grammar School, which in 1977 merged with other schools to form St. John Plessington High School. Marr described his family's move to Withenshaw as being like we'd moved to Beverly Hills, saying that the move led to him meeting a bunch of guitar players, which changed his life. He learned to play the guitar with LP vinyl records and a guitar chords dictionary without a teacher. Marr formed his first band, the Paris Valentinos, at the age of 13 with Andy Rourke and Kevin Williams, performing for the first time at a Jubilee party in Benchill in June 1977, playing Rolling Stones and Thin Lizzy covers. In 1979, he played a single gig at White and Shaw Forum with a band called Sister Ray and reunited with Rourke in a band called White Dice. White Dice entered a demo tape competition organized by NME and won an audition for FBeat Records, which they attended in April of 1980, but were not signed. In October 1980, Marr enrolled at Wythenshaw College, serving as president of the school's student union. White Dice dissolved in 1981. Marr and Rourke then formed a funk band, Freak Party, with Simon Walsencroft on drums. Around this time, Marr first met Matt Johnson, with whom he would later collaborate. He first achieved fame as the guitarist and co-songwriter of The Smiths, who were active from 1982 to 1987. The Smiths attained commercial success and were critically acclaimed with Marr's jangle pop guitar style becoming distinctive of the band's sound, but separated in 1987 due to personal differences between Marr and Morrissey. Since then, Marr has been a member of the Pretenders, the The, Electronic, Modest Mouse, and The Cribs. And he's become a prolific session musician, working with names such as Talking Heads and Hans Zimmer. Having released an album titled Boom Slang in 2003 under the name Johnny Marr and the Healers, Marr released his first solo album, The Messenger, in 2013. His second solo album, Playland, was released in 2014, followed by a third, Call the Comet, in 2018. Marr's autobiography, Set the Boy Free, was published in 2016. His fourth solo album, Fever Dreams, Parts 1 to 4, was released February 25th, 2022. It was like a, it was like a show. I learned, I think I learned quite a lot of Chrissy. I didn't realize until I started fronting my own band and thought, oh, okay, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that, uh, that I copped off her. He primarily makes money through album sales, live concerts, tours, and brand endorsement deals. According to various reports, he can easily earn around two to three million dollars in a given year. He has a net worth of 14 million dollars. He has a house in Portland, Oregon. The house features two bedrooms, two bathrooms and covers an area of more than 1,700 square feet. The house also has a beautiful swimming pool. He bought the property for $289,000 in October 2007. He also has a house in England. After residing in Portland, Oregon for more than five years, the family returned to Britain for Marr to record his solo album in Manchester. He likely owns the following cars, a Porsche, a BMW, A Range Rover.